What are going people and welcome back to my YouTube channel and if this is your first time on my channel please consider clicking that subscribe button it helps me out a lot. In today's video I'll be reviewing perfumes from the house of Maison Margiela so if you want to know what fragrances I'll be reviewing please keep watching. For those who don't know, Maison Margiela is a French luxury fashion house that is situated in Paris. It was founded in 1988 by the Belgian designer Maison Martin Margiela, but he now goes by Maison Margiela. He just dropped the Martin out. I'm not here to talk about the clothes, we're here to talk about the fragrances. I only know of two fragrances from him, but then I wanted to like expand my knowledge on Maison. So what better way to expand your knowledge and get in samples, yeah? So I decided to get this one. So this is the replica range. There is 10 fragrances in here and these are the 10 I'll be reviewing today. The message behind the replica range is that they're supposed to take you back to a specific time or date. Like the fragrances are supposed to evoke certain emotions, you know, like scent memories. Like when you spray a certain perfume, you can, like it brings back good or horrible memories. Like that's what these fragrances are supposed to do. I'm so excited to try these out. The 10 that comes in this discovery set are Lazy Sunday Morning, Jazz Club, Beach Walk, at the barbers, by the fireplace, springtime in a park, sailing day, flower market, under the lemon tree, and whispers in the library. I got the discovery kit about a week and a half ago, if my memory serves me correctly, and I tested each of them just to see, you know, like the Siage, the longevity, and all of that jazz. So today I have them on blotters. So I'm gonna start with flower market. That starts out with a lot of white florals. It's very fresh. This is a very elegant and feminine perfume. There's two jasmines in here. There's Egyptian jasmine and there's jasmine sambac. So it is the prominent note in this fragrance. There's tuberose in there as well, but you guys know I'm not really a massive fan of tuberose, but it's not overpowering, which I like. It starts out green, then it dries down to like a cool white floral. Do I get flower market? No, but do I get freshly cut flowers? Yes, I don't get the whole, you know the whole market, like you're smelling different kind of, no. I'm only getting like one set of freshly cut flowers, not the whole market. It's very light, very, very light. I mean for 98 pounds, if I'm gonna pay 98 pounds on a fragrance, I expect the sillage, the projection, the longevity, everything to be a 10 out of 10. For this, the sillage is like moderate longevity was horrible it stayed on my skin for maybe like three to four hours and for 98 pounds uh no but if you like light airy freshly cut smell flowers like flower market is for you next up we have under the lemon tree this is a bright citrusy kind of fragrance but citrus with spice it says under the lemon tree but the main note in here is lime i know it's still citrus but i think they put lemon in no what i like about this is that the citrusiness is not it's not synthetic like it smells natural on the first spray you get a whole lot of citrus then like the cedar tones it down and then you have the spices from the coriander the green tea you can smell the green tea in this the sillage and the longevity on this one is better than the flower market because i remember wearing it the day i wore it and i kept getting compliments like oh you smell fresh you smell zesty you know you smell you smell like lemonade it smells like drinking a tall glass of refreshing lemonade on a hot day I can't even say sitting under the lemon tree because I've never sat under a lemon tree. But I can tell this, if this is what sitting under a lemon tree smells like, it smells damn good. So if you like zesty, citrusy, tangy fragrances with a bit of spice, under the lemon tree is for you. Next up we have springtime in the park. This is very airy and pleasant, but then there's only three notes in here. There's pear, there's lily of the valley, and there's musk. This reminds me of when I took Basha to the park where the swings were. Then we went down to where they had like a fair. And do you guys remember Bobaloo? Bo Bobaloo? This Bobaloo? I don't know if you guys would know this, but there was a suite that I got back in Jamaica called Bobaloo. If I find a picture somewhere, I'll pop it up on the screen. It reminds me of the, it's either strawberry or tutti frutti flavor of the sweet Bobaloo. 
it starts out with like juicy pear then as it's developing on your skin then the lily of the valley comes right out then you know the musk comes in to tone it down this is a simple fragrance but it's like it's bright it's luminous and it's fresh the image i'm getting from this is say there's a little girl in her backyard she's on her swing and she's there and she's watching her mom as her mom is doing some gardening and as you can see on their fence like lily of the valley has been growing on their fence and like you can smell it because it had rained the night before but now that the sun is out you can smell it like lily of the valley is such a beautiful flower the delicate nature of lily of the valley produces this beautiful clean pure scent like if that's something that you're into, like you know the clean, the beautiful, the pure scent with the juicy pear and the musk. If that's something that you're into, springtime in a park, definitely for you. Next up we have Lazy Sunday Morning. This is a fragrance I can get into. Everything about this just, it just smells clean. Like freshly washed laundry, freshly washed sheets, like everything about this. It's light, it's soapy, it's powdery. It just smells so clean. What I get from this is like, it's one of them Sundays where you don't have much to do, but you just lie in bed just because. And then like, you can smell your neighbor's laundry being put on the line because it's blowing in the wind and coming through your window. You know that fresh smell that you can get from your fabric softener? This is a gorgeous, rosy, musky scent with a hint of patchouli. For my ladies, you know, freshly shaven legs against silk sheets. If you could put that in a fragrance, you get lazy sunday morning I'm, I'm sorry guys i don't know how to put it for my guys but that's how i i put it for my ladies it's a beautiful clean cozy scent i love this next up we have sailing day as the name suggests sailing water this is an aquatic fragrance this fragrance is leaning to the masculine side it's like you're on your yacht and like you're getting hit in your face with the crisp sea breeze and it's mixed with the ambergris and the seaweed sailing day is suitable for the summer like the longevity and the sillage and this is simply amazing like it embodies everything about an aquatic marine fragrance like you get salty sea water you get the green notes you get the florally notes and then you get the mild sniff of like seaweed and ambergris like everything aquatic everything marine if you're looking for one of those fragrances or if you like those notes in fragrances sailing day is here to save the day next up we have beach walk this smells like a very expensive sunscreen this is creamy musky salty it's warm like it brings me back to my holiday in spain when me and my girlfriends were just all lying down like you know applying sunscreen laying in the sun the beach close by this is a musky creamy coconutty type of fragrance like with a tinge of powdery notes like it also smells like a tropical holiday like i'm sniffing this and all i'm getting is like golden sands there's a beach nearby ladies in sundresses bikinis and massive sun hats yes it's a nice summery vibe type of perfume. I love beach walk. Next up we have at the barbers. I've been in a few barber shops in my time. This smells like, you know, after they've done giving you your trim lineup, whatever you've gone in for, and they like have that alcohol spray. That's what I'm getting from this. That's so weird. This opens with a spicy citrusy note and the dry down is very leathery and musky so much like a barbershop i don't have much to say about this fragrance it even smells like a citrusy lavender shaving foam this fragrance really doesn't appeal to me because i really don't want to be walking around smelling like a barbershop the person i see wearing this is like a well-dressed bald headed man does that make sense you know them ones who go to the barbershop just to shine their heads yes that's what i get from this a well-dressed bald headed man so if that's what you're into at the barbers it's for you third to last we have whispers in the library this smells like you know your nan like say she has this old box when she was a young girl like and in the box she has like a vanilla perfume with a lot of books and like she told you to like find it in storage so she can take it out and like gift you the book or whatever but it's been in the box 
for years. That's what it smells like. This is a nice woody, spicy vanilla fragrance that would thrive in like autumn, winter. Fluffy jumpers, like boots, scarves, woolly gloves, you know, the whole, the whole nine yards. Like this screams autumn, winter. It smells and feels sultry. Like the combination of the vanilla and the woodsy notes, absolutely beautiful. I would definitely buy a bottle of this one. If you're into woodsy, vanilla-y, smoky type of fragrances, Whisper in the Library is for you. Listen, these last two are my absolute favourites. Absolute faves. <sighs> Second to last, we have By the Fireplace. I don't know how many of you have actually been next to a fireplace, but you know when you have to go out and get the wood, put the wood in, put the lighter fluid and then you light it. You know that sweet, smoky aroma that comes, oh, this is what it smells like. How, how did they do this? This smells exactly like sitting at a fireplace. Oh my God. This embodies the name. By the fireplace, yes. This is a very sweet, nutty, smoky perfume that I think everybody would enjoy. This is unique. This is not a fragrance that you'd wear every day. It's a fragrance to be worn in the height of winter. You know, a fragrance that you want to make you feel warm by the fireplace, come on. This is everything. You wanna know what I did? I saved the best for last. This is Jazz Club. Listen, the first time I smelt this was in 2018. I was in New York, I was in Sephora, smelling the Maison Margiela range. And when I smelt this, I was like, wow, I had to get a sample. I'm actually surprised I don't own this in my collection. Have any of you on here watched the film um, Legends? starring Tom Hardy, The Craze. In the film, they owned jazz clubs and they wore suits and they smoked cigars and they had their scotch neat. This is a very intense fragrance, like the leather and the tobacco are very dominant. Very sexy and intoxicating fragrance. Like a tall, dark and handsome man in a suit wearing this. Hello? You get the spiciness from the pink pepper. You get the boozy sweetness from the rum. You get the creaminess from the vanilla. You get the hint of tobacco. Listen, this is heaven in a bottle, yeah? I have no faults. I have no problems with this perfume. The longevity and sillage, beast mode. It lasts a 12 plus hours. This Jazz Club is everything, okay? Over and done, like Jazz Club number one. This whole range, Jazz Club, number one, okay? This is on my next purchase list. Like, I know I was talking about Tom Hardy and most people might think, oh yeah, it's just a male fragrance. No, females can get in on this as well. Well, my loves, we've been through the 10 samples in the replica range. What do I think about it? I love the replica range. I just love that a scent can take you back to places or take you back to a time or y y scent memories. I absolutely love that. My only problem is that most of these, they don't last long or they don't project well. And then the price, like, as I said earlier, if I'm going to spend almost a hundred pounds on a fragrance, I need the longevity, the seal. I need everything to be top notch. I want everything to be 10 out of 10. But some of these were let down. So swings and roundabouts, really. Out of the 10, I have three favorites. Whisper in the Library, By the Fireplace, and of course, Jazz Club. Well, my loves, that's the end of this video. I do hope I gave you some insight on the replica range by Maison Margiela. You can let me know down in the comment section if I did the replica range like any good. Like, are you intrigued by any of these fragrances? Did any of these fragrances caught your noise? Let's chat in the comment sections. Tell me about the ones that you think you might buy. Thank you for watching. But before you go, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Thank you so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.